The longtime leader of the National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre, is stepping down after more than three decades. His announcement came ahead of a civil corruption trial brought by the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, alleging fraud and mismanagement. James was seeking his removal as part of the case. For more on this and what it means for the future of the NRA, I spoke moments ago with Mike Spees, senior writer for The Trace, and I asked him why LaPierre is stepping down now. Well, we can only really speculate at the moment. Uh, he cited health reasons, but I've never heard of him having any health issues. It seems uh, more likely that the trial's supposed to start on Monday and that it's not looking super great for the NRA. Um, the organization's interestingly had several years to make this decision um, and probably would have saved it quite a bit of money had it made it at any point before now. And we're talking to the tune of more than $100 million. But I suspect that the one thing the AG is seeking of significance at this stage, uh, or was seeking of significance at this stage, was to remove Wayne Lapierre from power. So by taking that off the table, it could possibly be an offering of some kind. Tell us a little bit more about that corruption trial, though. What is it that Attorney General Letitia James is alleging that Wayne Lapierre did? Uh, he, well, she's really alleging that he's done a host of things, but in short, he is alleged to have presided over and engaged in a incredible culture of self-dealing and corruption uh, that's essentially pervaded every aspect of the organization's executive ranks over a period of 30 years and cost the NRA many, many, many tens of millions of dollars uh, that got shelled out for sweetheart deals, other very luxurious personal expenses, uh, using vendors for trips on yachts to the Bahamas, uh, endless private jet usage. There's really, uh, you know, obviously everyone heard about the hundreds of thousands of dollars on custom suits. There was really no, uh, nothing uh, that, that, it, that it seems that uh, the folks at the top there are not engaged in uh, over, the, uh, over the time that the NRA was bringing in lots of money. So, Mike, Wayne LaPierre is 74 years old. He's been at the helm for more than three decades and really, I think it's fair to say, transformed gun culture in America, including making it a major political force. This is the guy who, after the Sandy Hook shooting in which 20 children were killed, he said the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Does LaPierre stepping down change the influence that the NRA has had politically? Yes, it does change the influence it has had politically because... Wayne was the last symbol that carried any meaning for Americans. The rest of the organization that uh, people interfaced with over the last bunch of years is all gone. Its messaging infrastructure is dead. Its ability to spend money on political elections went bye-bye once the lawsuit started. And so the last recognizable face was his, and he's gone now. Um, and so its ability to affect change in the moment, I think is more or less non-existent, but its presence is still felt every day because the machine that it created over a period of decades and its success at re-socializing a portion of America and the Republican Party is not going anywhere. And effectively, we have, you know, like a split now. It's either you're sort of an absolutist, in which case you're in the NRA's camp and you're a member of the Republican Party, or you're in favor of regulation, in which case you identify with Democrats. And so a group like the NRA doesn't really need to cast that kind of influence anymore because the machine's already working on autopilot, you know, if you will. That civil corruption trial uh, was scheduled to begin next week. Does him stepping down shield him from prosecution in any way? No, it doesn't. He's, um, in addition to the NRA, he's still listed as a defendant in the case. And it's hard to know what's in store for him. I mean, one of the things, in addition to his removal that the AG was seeking, was a range of financial penalties, money that would, by the way, just redound to the NRA. It's not money that would go into the state of New York's coffers. Um, because, you know, as she's alleging, it's money that was wrongly taken from members and used for personal benefit. That is Mike Spies, senior writer for The Trace, joining us tonight. Mike, thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for having me.